right, fans, we are live. Some breaking news. Sam Kerr is joining Chelsea on a two and a half year deal. Wow, that's what it's all about. at his own schedule to see upcoming fights or catch up on recent events. Never miss a punch by setting reminders that alert you on your mobile device. I am here with the main event, Jay Swingler. How are you feeling? Absolutely fantastic. Oh, 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 where he catches this and look at his body positioning and he has to pull that back around under his feet. Navigate fight night, key moments, replay the rounds of the action you want to see again and again. And to the water for the final time. He's won the race to go along with the championship. Absolutely magnificent. What a strike that is. Sunday and one of the players missing is Caroline Graham Hansen who scored two of the goals in that game. Atlético de Madrid, buenas tardes Manolo. Bueno, de los últimos 13 partidos tan solo una victoria a favor del Atlético de Madrid. ¿Cómo se le gana a este Barça? Bueno, sobre todo intentar, digamos, hacer hacer nuestro juego, ¿no? En la medida que que el rival nos pueda dejar, intentar que no se que no se encuentren cómodas, que no tengan su día y y pelear y trabajar mucho, ¿no? Competir como sabemos hacerlo. Y, y como te he empezado diciendo, ¿no? hacer nuestro juego, intentar tener esa personalidad, esa, ese punto justo de tensión ¿no? y de tranquilidad para poder tener el balón, para hacerle daño también con el balón y es lo que vamos a intentar.
Y te quería hablar de dos nombres propios. Por un lado, Lacey Santos, que está de dulce, y por otro, Chernogorchevich, un partido muy especial para ella. La verdad que sí, bueno, eh, Lacey ya la conocemos, es fundamental, ¿no? En nuestro juego ofensivo es una de las piezas clave. Y, y Ana María, pues igual, ¿no? Tiene mucha motivación este partido, muchas ganas de, de demostrar lo gran, lo gran jugadora que es, que todos lo sabemos. Y, y bueno, la verdad que aquí estamos disfrutando mucho de ella. Muchas gracias, Manolo, y mucha suerte. Muchas gracias. Just hearing there from the Atletico Madrid manager Manolo Cagna. All the questions there about Lucy Santos, who has started the season really impressively for the home side, the Colombian. Three goals already so far this season, including both of the goals in that win against Sevilla last weekend. Estamos con Jonathan Gialdez, entrenador del Barça. Buenas tardes, Jonathan. Bueno, estarás cansado de responder a esta pregunta, pero hoy Atlético de Madrid, Alexa de Falso 9. Eh, bueno, Falso 9, no, a mí lo que me gusta es hablar de, de posiciones dentro del campo, el rol que tienen el día de hoy, pensando en lo que nos podemos encontrar. Para mí es muy importante no solo hablar de la jugadora en cuestión, sino del plan de partido, cómo responden las que están alrededor para que podamos atacar bien, para que podamos defender bien y espero, esperemos hacer el mejor partido posible. Y en la portería, también se ha hablado mucho de la portería, hoy Catacoy, ¿es un aviso, un mensaje de que va a ser ya la portera en los partidos importantes o seguirán las rotaciones y depende del momento? Bueno, depende de muchas cosas, depende de rendimiento, depende de estado de forma, depende del rival que tienes delante, depende de las características de compañeras que tienes alrededor para saber qué tipo de portera te, puedes, eh, te puede servir más para ese partido. Yo hablé con las tres porteras, con Gemma también que no, que no ha venido, que ha sido la portera desconvocada. Tengo muchísimo nivel en la portería, tengo muchas alternativas, me toca ser injusto con dos de ellas porque... Las tres merecían ser titulares en este equipo. Las veces que han jugado el año pasado, Gemma estuvo a un gran nivel. Sandra Paños, por todo lo que ha hecho por este club también. Y Cata es una jugadora que viene a hacer un Mundial estupendo. Eh, está entrenando a mucho nivel y, bueno, me toca tomar las decisiones. Me toca ser injusto con dos de ellas. Pero, bueno, al final las decisiones que tengo que tomar son pensando lo que creo que es mejor para el equipo. Pues muchas gracias, Jonah, y buena suerte en el partido. Jonathan Hillal Dales there, the Barcelona manager, hugely successful of course last season, winning the league and also making that comeback to win against Wolfsburg in the Champions League final, but they did not go a whole season without dropping points last season, in fact they drew a game and lost one match in the 2022-23 campaign. Nevertheless, any team that comes up against them knows that they are the toughest of opponents. The team news as far as Barcelona is concerned, I was mentioning that the loss of uh, Caroline Graham Hansen, who has picked up an injury that means that she isn't part of the squad for this fixture, but Kira Walsh does start this evening. It is her first start. She came off the bench last weekend, the midfielder, and now she is available to start for the first time this season. Uh, Esme Brutsch is the other player who comes into the starting 11. Pina drops to the bench, and one of the other players on the bench for this game is Selma Parayuelo, who made plenty of headlines at the World Cup, of course. The youngster, he was breaking into the Barcelona side when she scored some rather significant goals for her country in the World Cup in Australia and New Zealand as the Spanish team made their way all the way to lifting that World Cup trophy. Well, this is the last fixture of this weekend. Uh, one game up just about to be completed is uh, Levante against Levante Les Planos. Uh, that is one all at the moment with not too much time to go. 
Another fixture of significance today as far as the two teams are concerned is that uh, Madrid CFF have beaten Sporting Huelva by three goals to one. Uh, that means that uh, Madrid CFF move up to third in the table, Atletico Madrid uh, dropping down to fourth. Barcelona sitting in second at the moment. Uh, Real Madrid are top of the table. That's because they have played five and won five so far. They're on 15 points. A big 5-2 victory yesterday for them, among the other games that were played. Uh, Villarreal with a 3-0 win. Sociedad and Valencia also winners yesterday. And so this La Liga FA fixture completes match day five of the 30 that will be played this season. 22 degrees, there are fans who are sat in their T-shirts around the Centro Deportivo Wanda. I believe, though, there is a 10% chance of rain during this game. So a little bit cloudy and overcast. And perhaps there might be a few drops of rain before full time. Well, Barcelona league winners for the fourth consecutive season, the eighth time overall last campaign, but uh, they only claimed 28 wins, one draw and a loss, as I mentioned, last season. That having won all 30 league matches in their previous campaign, so that will give you some idea as to their dominance in the league. The two sets of players emerge. Some of the fans knowing the words better than others. Shake of hands between the two sets of players before this tie gets on the way. Atletico Madrid finishing fourth last season, just missing out on Champions League qualification. They're actually nine points behind the team that finished in third place, 28 points below third place Barcelona. And so confirmation of the starting lineups, the goalkeeper and the back four remain the same from the home win against Sevilla. Maharan comes into that midfield. Lacey Santos scoring both goals for Atletico Madrid last weekend. Serna Golcevic, of course, previously played with Barcelona. Zulema Gonzalez. Lola Gallardo, the captain for the home side. Uh, Alexia Puteas, the skipper for Barcelona. Catacol keeps her place in goal for the visitors. Same back four as the side that won against Real Sociedad. Kira Walsh and Esme Bruch come into midfield. Alexia is now on 181 goals for Barcelona. Spearheads that 
threatening attack for the visitors. The home side in their red and blue kits. The Barcelona team there for an changed kit of aqua blue. And we are underway at the Centro Deportivo Wanda here in La Liga Efe. And Atletico Madrid with an early burst forwards. Chibade trying something from that left-hand side. Distinctive blue hair of the Nigerian international. Patry pass forwards, Sonogorchevic with the interception. to call remaining in goal for Barcelona. I think that was one of the questions being asked of the Barcelona head coach ahead of the start of this game. Of course, Panos, the other keeper available, but uh, that's Cole becoming the Spanish number one by the looks of things. During the World Cup. Of course, as we are aware, it's uh, more than playing ability that has decided who may or may not be available for the Spanish international side in recent months. Bronze with a throw in, it will roll out of play. Gallardo to collect for the home side. Played in Lyon, Gallardo, before returning to Atletico Madrid for a second spell. Walsh. Blow of the whistle from the referee. I think the indication is that there might well have been a, an elbow there. Manolo Cano signed a contract renewal for another season in the summer, took over from Oscar Fernandez last December following his dismissal. Spoken about this being home and how happy he is to continue what he has started here. Nini's ball forward is collected by Lucy Bronze. England International finds Patrick. Badier. Low ball might drop and could find its way to Mariona Caldente. Putting on the pressure here, Mappy Leon. Loops across just over Brutch. Leon's looping ball from that left hand side. Heraldas guiding his side to that Champions League victory, their second in the team's history.
the end of last season after winning the league as well, of course. Alexia, not largely a part of that team last season. Arsenal, double Ballon d'Or winner. She missed most of it with an injury. Only return for the latter stages in the league and in Europe. Barcelona just happy to hold on to the ball at the moment, just looking to play it a little bit higher down this wing, picked up by Caldente. Now it's Badje who comes in field. It's a turn from Alexia Pateas, a left footed strike. Ends up going into the netting behind the Atletico. Madrid goal. Well, she is now a record equaliser, uh, Alexia Pateas. 181 goals for Barcelona. Made her 400th appearance for the team on the 16th of September. Shares that 181 record with. Jenny Hermoso, so one more, and she will be the highest ever goal scorer for Barcelona. And if you think that she has missed almost a whole season of football, imagine she would have gone well past that record already by now. Arma Manea forward from the Home side's defence. Another touch there from Kira Walsh. Her first start of this season, a record signing at the start of last season. Threaded forwards. Picked up by Mario Caldente, but I imagine the flag was raised. She was just offside as she chased that pass. Well, if she was offside, it was very tight. But very quickly, the referee's assistant raised the flag. Ajibade does well to shake off Barcelona attentions. Looking for maybe Sheila, who's waiting for it. Comes in, oh, it's a header that's down by Serna Gorcevic, but straight at the Barcelona keeper, Swiss international, Serna Gorcevic. Just got above Badier there. Spent four seasons, Serna Gorcevic at Barcelona. For making the move to Madrid in the summer.
范仲根。Four just was watched by the Barcelona defence back to their goalkeeper. Collected by Bonmati. Mapi Leon points at Mariana Caldente and gives the ball to her. Back out to Mapi Leon again. Paredes, bronze. <laughs> Away from Aitana Bonmati, the gold ball winner in the summer. She lifted that World Cup trophy. Ajibade. Is brought down, but she's quickly back to her feet with a little bit of help from Lucy Bronze. <laughs> Forward from Mappy Leon, quick header from Bronze. Pateas, the intended target, might come back to Pateas again. Rach was in there too. <laughs> Cleared by Atletico Madrid. Sana Gorcevic, a bit of strength from her in the battle with Mappy Leon. Morasa. Ajibade on a run. Blocked on its way towards Sheila in the Atletico Madrid attack. Barcelona not allowed to break though. Chibadi tries to get away from Lucy Bronze and almost manages it. Finds her path blocked by Patry instead. Mariana Caldante. The player is brought down. There are shouts from the home fans, but referee allows play to continue, and the forward is quickly back to her feet. Mappy Leon, maybe hoping that Esme Birch was running onto that, but couldn't quite get there. Uh, Medina, the 19 year old, this home side's defense, the left back. Early stages of this game, probably the best chance so far that Sana Gorcevic header. But we're probably not expecting it. To finish nil nil. This fixture last season, Sana Golcevic was actually on target for Barcelona in a 6 1 win. 
Barcelona side that won 4-0 in the reverse fixture. So, scored 10 goals against Atletico Madrid and conceded one over the two league meetings between the sides last season. Forward from Paredes. Roach on a turn. Bronze has done what she often does and advanced down Barcelona's right. He lay on forwards. And it has to be cleared for the first corner of the game. If Barcelona can do something from this set piece, Mappy Leon's corner dealt with at the near post. Santos has Alexia Pateas for company. Referee's assistant with a good view of that battle and allows it to continue as well. They tried hard there. Atletico Madrid to put themselves on the front foot. Number 10 for Atletico Madrid, Lacey Santos, the Colombian. Helping out defensively there, where probably expecting to see her being busy at the other end. Flicked forward by Walsh. Mariona pulled back to Patry. is keen to get on to the end of that. Maybe a chance for Patry decides not to go for the shot. Leaves it for Paredes. And that took a deflection as it headed up into the sky. Second corner of this first half for Barcelona. Taken short this time. Back with Mappy Leon. Gets in the way of that pass between Sana Korcevic and Santos. Just a bit too strong for Alexi Buteas.
four games played so far by Barcelona. Four wins, 13 goals scored. Atletico Madrid have scored nine in the four goal uh, games that they have played. Barcelona, they often get into the hundreds at the end of league seasons for goals scored. Leon with a little bit of a nibble and I'm sure if the referee might be giving him more than a talking to here. Well, there was an initial clash between two players and then I don't think there was much more in this led to this free kick <laughs> Barcelona win the ball back Look to play it forward quickly. Lexi Puteas. Now with Mariona Caldante. Oh, I think she was hoping she might just loop that past the keeper and in at the far post. Not quite from the Barcelona player. Six goals last season for her in the league. Jabade on the overlap. Sheila and Serna Gorcevic waiting for this. It's a decent ball in. Clip the fingertips of the Barcelona goalkeeper. Little push on Sheila there. Back with Cole. Jibardi run. And as she played it in, well, it took a little touch off the Barcelona goalkeeper. Bruges with a little pull on the shirt of Medina, the Dutch international who's joined Barcelona over the summer.
Santos looked up. Birch with the block. Chance to play this in. Headed away. Danger not quite averted. Sana Gorchevich there again. Panini was another player waiting for that. Free kick for Barcelona. Roach with a cross, skims away from Bateas. Roger doesn't fancy shot herself. No delivery from Mappy Leon. Patrick. Leona Caldante back to Badger. with Tana Bomati. Droch on a run, sliding in goes Medina. Intercepted by Minaya, its way towards Pateas. But Barcelona keeping hold of possession. You can see at the moment all the home sides players inside their own half busy defending against this dominant Barcelona side. Picked up by Bronz. Gets it back from Rutsch. Jabari helping out defensively. Prevents the England international from getting the cross in. Multiple Champions League winner with Leon, Lucy Bronze, before moving to Spain. She was uh, one of the players who added that trophy to their CV yet again. That win against Wolfsburg. <laughs> Dina just making sure again that Barcelona can't get a cross in from that right hand side at the expense of another corner. And see of tussling for space as the Mappy Leon corner comes in. The header bounces off the pitch and is hacked away. Just taken as far away as possible from the Atletico Madrid goal. <laughs> Badje was asking for it wide on this left hand side. Might get the ball now. Now running it. Sam Gorchevic comes in field to Patrick. A little touch from Walsh. 
Paredes out to Marina Caldente. Back heel from Patry hoping to play in Batier. Bruch with the ball in. Oh, I think Van Dongen just made sure she got in the way of Pateas. Just made sure that Pateas maybe didn't have the best of views of that cross from Esme Bruch. Two England internationals exchanging passes. Lucy Bronze ventures into the 18-yard box, the six-yard box. I think that might have been Ajibade on defensive duties to take it out for another corner. Quickly taken this time by Barcelona and Short. Birch on a turn. Just goes behind the heels of Alexi Pateas. And um, well. This game for the last, it feels, maybe 10 minutes or so has only been played in one half of the pitch. Barcelona all-out attack. And the way, latest attempt from Leona Caldente. Broach back to goal, might drop to Bronx. Hosts having to do everything to defend. this threatening Barcelona side. Gallardo though, saying that hasn't had a save to make yet. Patez back to goal finds Walsh. Leon Caldente to Mappy Leon. Leon to the far post. Again, they're always looking for Alexia Puteas. It's hard to read that expression, but he doesn't look entirely happy. Barcelona have scored before half time in their last four fixtures. The start of this new league season. They might get an opportunity from a free kick. The referee. Blowing her whistle, Van Dongen disagreeing with that decision that she had fouled Patry. Leon and Aitana Bonmati, the two players waiting behind this free kick. Happy Leon to take. 
Tips off the back heel of Sheila. It's a header from Mariana Caldante. It's almost headed straight back to her as Atletico Madrid tried to clear. And now Barcelona suspects they might have to do some defending. Quickly forward to Ajibade. Lucy Bronze with the block. Atletico Madrid with a corner. Ten minutes. before half-time. Well, Mariana Caldente almost surrounded by... Atletico Madrid players, Benini going down. The action at the other end now as this corner is taken and... finds the head of Van Dongen. Looks as if... Helping out defensively. <laughs> Mappy Leon might well have got a cut to her head. Medical staff on very quickly to check on her. And you can see that there is quite a cut to the face of the Barcelona defender. This does allow other players to come across to get some hydration, to get some instructions from the coaches and uh, the rest of the staff who've been observing the last 37 minutes. But Mappy Leon back to her feet very quickly. It doesn't look as if she suffered a concussion of any kind, but she most definitely has a cut to her head. As she was trying to defend this corner. And uh, she and Van Dongen both leapt as that ball was played in. And immediately you could see that she had a cut that would require some treatments. And so she has to be walked off the pitch for that treatment to continue. Barcelona for the moment down to 10. Hopefully Mappy Leon will work. Uh, just be treated as quickly as possible unless the decision is made that she can't continue. Perhaps they might be able to just sort of wrap a bandage round her head, take it to half time, and she can get a lengthier spell of treatment. forward by Medina, one back by Walsh. turns it back to her goalkeeper. Wait to see what Barcelona choose to do following that injury to Mappy Leon, who 
quickly taken off the pitch to get that gash to her head treated. Birch on a run. Just drops over the head of Badier. Forward from Walsh. Battery pass intercepted. Now, Paredes quickly back. does look like after I would say probably about five minutes or so of treatments and a lot of bandaging to the heads Barcelona keen to get Mapi Leon back onto the pitch as soon as the opportunity arises Santos sliding in on Mati and it's back to 11 versus 11 back on and back in that Barcelona defense Forwards, Batias racing onto it, sliding in is Morasa. Should time that right. Pause of appreciation from the home fans. to go before half time well certainly we're close to the 45th minute of this match but there might be some injury time you would expect uh, due to that treatment to Mappy Leon but she was very quickly off the pitch so it won't be too lengthy when the fourth official shows us the amount of added on time at the end of this first half and either of these sides go in having broken the deadlock Barcelona trying to do that now. Comes back to a ball from Mapi Leo. Drops to Ajibade who turns. Pass is collected by Patrick. Caldante, Badier, Badier, on the roof of the net from the former Manchester United player. No, uh, Frilina Rolfo for Barcelona at the moment. She is out with an injury. Which is giving on a budget an opportunity to maybe make that position her own. So such a valuable and important player for 
Barcelona. Good headache for any manager to have. Such excellent players to choose from. Santos eventually brought down by Paredes. She had several Barcelona players around her, and it is just the two minutes of added on time, and we are into that now. And the home side have the ball where they want it to see what they can do with this free kick finds the head of Lucy Bronze. And as Barcelona try and break, that is the first yellow card of the game. And uh, well, there is little doubt that uh, Marin should go into the book because well, she just grabbed a hold of as much of uh, Onabadie's shirt as she could get a hold of. to Santos. <laughs> Referee taking a glance and a second at her watch. I suspect it won't be long before we hear that whistle. And as the ball drops out of play, that is it for the first half here between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Well, you would expect goals in games involving these two sides, but neither goalkeeper has really been troubled yet in this La Liga FA fixture. Maybe one of the best chances, the Sana Korcevic header, former Barcelona player. Atletico Madrid defence standing strong so far. And so the two sets of players will head down into the changing rooms. Bueno, el Atlético de Madrid, bueno, habéis aguantado muy bien la primera parte ante el Barça. ¿Qué os habéis dicho antes de empezar el partido entre vosotras? Que queremos competir con Barça, con el Barça, porque es un muy buen equipo. Si competimos bien con el Barça, estamos bien. Así que queremos competir. Ahora va bien. Ahora nos falta un 45 minutos más. ¿Cómo ves la segunda parte? Necesitamos un poquito más balón, creo. Y estar un poquito más alto. Y si somos capaces de crear un poquito más, ya veremos cómo, cómo va el partido. ¿Y ya la última? ¿Qué ha pasado en ese choque con, con Mapi León? No lo sé. He saltado y he visto que tiene sangre. Así que tengo que ver el vídeo. Para... No lo sé, no lo sé. Todavía no lo sé. Luego lo, lo veo. Vale, mucha suerte, Merel. Gracias. Chao. Puffet once more. Diani belatedly offering the pressure on her. And Wright at the far post beats Buani. Drop of the shoulder from Wrighton. Harder might turn. Car is there. Chelsea take the lead. Oh, harder. Harder now skipping forward. Wrighton's there. Wrighton pulls it back. Carr! That's definitely hers. Now a second opportunity for her to take this corner. Millie Parker's ahead of it. Oh, and it goes in. Fortress here at King's Meadow. All in from the right hand side. Oh, and it goes all the way in. Wrighton 
looks to pull it back, and Ingle was there! And there's the opener. Chelsea have been the more likely team to score. Sam Kerr makes a way through, looks to dance and get the shot away. Oh, it's a brilliant goal from Sam Kerr. Wrestling match though between her and Cuthbert, and it's Cuthbert who comes away with it for Chelsea. Plays it across to Gura Wrighton! Oshuala goes for goal from distance. Oh, what a strike that is from Asisat Oshuala. Caldente into the box. Caldente finishes. That is a wonderful solo goal. Battery feeding it through. Here's a really good opportunity, and that is an instant impact from Geysa. Get out by Ulrich. And Mariona Caldente is going for it. She is going for it. Oh, my word. Support arriving. Pina has a goal and scores majestically. Taking it short. Juan Mati floating it into the danger zone, and that's the opening goal. Mati, Sinagordovic takes it in her stride, and that is a wonderful finish. Mati Leon, she tries it. Oh, my words! Graham Hansen! Oh, what a strike! The memories we can create now, that's what we were dreaming about when we were kids. I'm very aware of how lucky I am. For the majority of my career, I've been playing and no one's even watched. If you give girls the opportunity to play, they will show up. All I wanted to do was play football. This season and this tournament kind of became that six-year-old that enjoyed playing football again. One day you step out and you play in front of 70,000 people. I'm a 100% winner. I hate losing. I worked so hard, I finally got here. We are now role models for a lot of young girls. with the chance to cross. First time ball, it's a really good ball in, and Lapvine finishes it off. Don Stottier will get to this comfortably and has Payor arriving in the middle. Don Stottier hit the byline. And Payor did the rest. Pop leaves it, Hendrich. And Lena Lapvine, brilliant. Shots on. Oh, the shot is on, all right. Hung up here for Payo. And there's Hoots, and that's another one. Hendrich. And Volt is there again. Pop has continued her run, and the early shot is a really good one. Oh, that's a majestic finish. Well picked up here by Eva Payo. And it's going to be dangerous. Shirts to aim for. And that's an audacious effort. It'll be Leonard Simornum or Catley. Leonard Simornum and Arsenal lead. Now Arsenal on the break through Leonard Simornum, who has lots of options, might just go herself here. Rolls it in for Black Stenius. Arsenal have four before half time. It was Neve Fahi own goal before. Little got a hat trick as Leonard Simornum picks, picks out the top corner. It's in time for more, indeed it could be, as that's a terrible back pass. And Arsenal have a seventh. That is an early Christmas gift from Zurich. Calmly slotted in. Nobody scored more Champions League penalties than Kim Little. Ford round the corner. Iwabuchi. Iwabuchi has a goal. Ryan trying to play out from the back. Arsenal winning it high. Giving it away again. This is Freedom Barnum! From Catlitz. Hung up and headed towards goal and they have done! Cuff it once more. Diani belatedly offering the pressure on her and Wright at the far post beats Buani. Drop of the shoulder from Wrighton. Harder might turn. Carr is there! And Chelsea take the lead! Harder. Harder now skipping forward. Wrighton's there. Wrighton pulls it back. Carr! That's definitely hers! Now a second opportunity for her to take this corner. Millie Flagger's ahead of it! Oh, and it goes in! Fortress here at King's Meadow. All in from the right hand side. Oh, and it goes all the way in! 
Knighton looks to pull it back, and Ingle was there! And there's the opener. Chelsea have been the more likely team to score. Sam Kerr makes her way through, looks to dance and get the shot away. Oh, it's a brilliant goal from Sam Kerr. Wrestling match though between her and Cuthbert, and it's Cuthbert who comes away with it for Chelsea. Plays it across to Gura Wrighton. Oshuala. Goes for goal from distance. Oh, what a strike that is from Asisat Oshuala. Caldente into the box. Caldente finishes. That is a wonderful solo goal. Battery feeding it through. Here's a really good opportunity, and that is an instant impact from Geysa. Get out by Ehrlich. And Mariona Caldente is going for it. She is going for it. Oh, my word. Support arriving. Pina has a go and scores majestically. Taking it short. One Mati floating it into the danger zone, and that's the opening goal. Mati, Sinagorjevic takes it in her stride, and that is a wonderful finish. Mati Leon, she tries it. Oh, my word! Graham Hansen! Oh, what a strike! The memories we can create now, that's what we were dreaming about when we were kids. I'm very aware of how lucky I am. For the majority of my career, I've been playing and no one's even watched. If you give girls the opportunity to play, they will show up. All I wanted to do was play football. This season and this tournament kind of became that six-year-old that enjoyed playing football again. One day you step out and you play in front of 70,000 people. I'm a 100% winner. I hate losing. I worked so hard. I finally got here. We are now role models for a lot of young girls. with the chance to cross. First time ball, it's a really good ball in, and Latvine finishes it off. Gonstotir will get to this comfortably and has Pajor arriving in the middle. Gonstotir hit the byline. And Pajor did the rest. Pop leaves it, Hendrich. And Lena Latvine, brilliant. Shots on. Oh, the shot is on, all right. Hung up here for Payo. And there's Hoots, and that's another one. Hendrich and Volt is there again. Pop has continued her run, and the early shot is a really good one. Oh, that's a majestic finish. Well picked up here by Eva Payo. to aim for, and that's an audacious effort. It'll be Leonard Simornum or Catley. It's Leonard Simornum and Arsenal lead. Now Arsenal on the break through Leonard Simornum, who has lots of options, might just go herself here. Rolls it in for Black Stenius. Arsenal have four before half time. It was Neve Fahey own goal before. Little got a hat trick as Leonard Simornum picks, picks out the top corner. It's in time for more, indeed it could be, as that's a terrible back pass. And Arsenal have a seventh. That is an early Christmas gift from Zurich. Calmly slotted in. Nobody scored more Champions League penalties than Kim Little. Ford round the corner. Iwabuchi. Iwabuchi has a goal. Trying to play out from the back. Arsenal winning it high. Giving it away again. This is Freedom Barnum! From Catlitz. Hung up and headed towards goal and they have done! Off it once more. Diani belatedly offering the pressure on her and Wright at the far post beats Buani. Drop of the shoulder from Wrighton. Harder might turn. Carr is there! And Chelsea take the lead! Harder. Harder now skipping forward. Wrighton's there. Wrighton pulls it back. Carr! That's definitely hers! Now a second opportunity for her to take this corner. Millie Flagger's ahead! Fortress here at King's Meadow. Ball in from the right hand side. Oh, and it goes all the way in. 
Brighton looks to pull it back, and Ingle was there! And there's the opener. Chelsea have been the more likely team to score as Sam Kerr makes her way through, looks to dance and get the shot away. Oh, it's a brilliant goal from Sam Kerr. The wrestling match, though, between her and Cuthbert, and it's Cuthbert who comes away with it for Chelsea. Plays it across to Guru Wrighton! Players just returning to the pitch not long before the second half gets underway here at the Centro Deportivo Wanda between Atletico de Madrid and Barcelona. Goalless at the break with the first 45 minutes of limited chances. Estamos con una base lateral del Barça. Bueno, una, hasta el momento el Atleti es el equipo que más difícil os ha puesto las cosas. Hombre, sabíamos que al final iba a ser un partido complicado y más en su casa. Creo que es un buen equipo, pero al final creo que estamos haciendo las cosas bien. Tenemos que tener en cuenta la velocidad que tienen, pero yo creo que estamos haciendo las cosas bien y van atrás. ¿Qué os ha dicho el míster en el descanso? Bueno, eso, apretar los dientes. Sabemos, sabíamos que iba a ser un partido difícil, pero al final... Eh, haciendo las cosas que sabemos y que tenemos que hacer, que nos cuentan y bueno, que nos dicen de hacer, eh, las cosas van a salir. Muchas gracias, Ona, y mucha suerte. Pues nada, todo abierto para la segunda parte. It would be a remarkable scoreline if it ended goalless between these two teams. Well, the half-time conversations between the Barcelona players continue as they get back in their formation. Dilemma Gonzalez, the referee. the second half underway it doesn't look like there have been any changes at half time Shibade quickly chasing forwards
slip back to her, but stopped by the head of bronze. Chibali then gets to the ball before the Barcelona defender. Forward from Manaya. Looks like the map he lay on bandage has turned from white to black over the course of the half-time treatment that she's had to that cut. Brooks with the cross and it's a shot and it is the first save of the game and it's Patry who was on target. Gallardo gets her gloves to it. Got her knees to it somewhat too. It's the player, Patry, who scored those goals in the Comeback Champions League final win. But among the Spanish players who was not part of the international sides in the summer. Esme Brooks forwards from her. Bronze looks for options. Might be rolled by Bonmati. Bronze has stayed up there. Back with Bonmati again. Now it's Caldante. They're pinging it about Barcelona, as we know they can do. <laughs> More strong defending from Atletico Madrid. Barcelona continue. Look for that opening goal. That Patry effort early in this second half, the best that we've seen throughout the first 49 minutes of this match. with the pass. She <laughs> tries the back here. This could be an opportunity for Tana Bonmati. Suddenly there are four Atletico Madrid players in her way. Doing really well so far to stop the Barcelona threats. Paredes. 
Oh, this could be a decent pass. Patry's behind. And that's it. The ball goes in. Patry with the cross to find Alexia Pateas. And five minutes into this second half. It is Barcelona who take the lead. Alexia with her 182nd goal for Barcelona. Patry not long after having a shot saved herself, then the provider for her captain. Atletico Madrid nil, Barcelona one. A goal that makes her the all-time highest goal scorer for Barcelona now. Just how many more might she have scored, but for that ACL injury, the injury that kept her out for a large part of last season. She they're having to put a boot back on. And Atletico Madrid's didn't have to deal with enough already. Selma Parayuelo is available among the substitutes. But now the home side with a chance from this free kick. And it was the bandaged head of Mapi Leon that got there first. Now they've opened the scoring, they're bursting forward again. There's May Brooks. Leaping head of Tana Bonmati couldn't get the contact she wanted. with Walsh oh, it'll drop kindly for bronze Gallardo has to save a well, Lucy bronze in all sorts of space the Atletico Madrid's goal at her mercy brought it down with one touch tried to just take it under the crossbar with a second. But for that block from the Atletico Madrid goalkeeper, corner taken to the far posts. back in Alexia Pateas well I wonder if a flag was raised as it found her head and then the fingertips of the Atletico Madrid goalkeeper and just offside as that delivery found her Ajibade trying to wrong foot Lucy Bronx
nine league goals for Ajibadi last season, waiting to get off the mark this season, the Nigerian international. As we see that Alexia goal yet again. Forward from Ajibadi. Now it's Santos. Bronze gets back quickly, but the pass finds its way to Ajibade. Ajibade shot deflected. It'll lead to a corner. They have come off bronze, but I think it. So got a touch off Paredes on its way wide. And a double substitution to be made by the home side. In fact, there may be a triple substitution by the looks of things. Lots of changes being made. Sana Gorcevic, one of the players who's coming off. Uh, Benini has also come off. Navarro coming on as one of the three substitutions that were made just before this low corner kick is taken. So Sana Gorcevic Comes off, uh, Gabby Garcia coming on for her. Navarro coming on as well, the number 19. Free kick is punched away. Santos, Medina was on the overlap. Her team of free kick. And Atletico Madrid, having made those changes, might witness Barcelona making some of their own Not before this free kick is taken. Another punched clearance from the Spanish international keeper. Out swinging corner this time.
Alberto. Confirmation of the three changes that were very quickly made by Atletico Madrid. Mentioned uh, Garcia and Rivaro. Boa Risa has also come on. Other player to come on. Paredes. Turn from Walsh. Flick forwards again with Pateas. Low ball in from Mapi Leo. Bronze was there. And Shibade at her shoulder then stretches away. Bronze trying to keep up with the Atletico Madrid forwards. And Gibardo eventually releasing a shot that will not trouble the Barcelona goalkeeper this time. change to be made and it will be Salma Parayuelo who comes on Burux the player who is coming off and a big cheer from the Barcelona fans as Salma Parayuelo makes her first appearance of the season, Ajibade, the latest Letico Madrid player to be replaced. Marta Cardona comes on for her. So, and fourth change made by Manolo Cano. Salma Parayuelo who had an injury at the start of this season. Comes on as a sub. With 30 minutes left to play. Player who... is named the Young Player of the World Cup. And she's on the ball already. Comes back to Mappy Leon. Low driving ball in from her. Block is by Van Dongen. some dispute about where this free kick should be taken from. Drops down onto the pitch. Walsh can give it back to Bronze. Then Mappy Leo back with 
Walsh first start for her this evening and she looks comfortable so far. I'm not sure if Jonathan Heraldis may be tempted to bring her off at some stage if the scoreline is comfortable. Field from Parayuelo. Napilea, not from the back. Cross is not quite clear. It finds its way to Bronx. Five wins for Barcelona in their last five meetings with Atletico Madrid in all competitions. There was a victory for Atletico Madrid in this fixture. 2021 is here. It might be a chance to find Cardona from Sheila. Another cross this time off the head of Cardona and onto the roof of the nets. Well, she wasn't the tallest player in there, but managed to leap and make contact. I mentioned that Atletico Madrid win right at the end of the 2020-21 season, 4-3 victory in the end. It didn't stop, though, Barcelona from uh, winning three trophies that season. And then going on a run of 62 consecutive league victories. Four from Paredes. Bronx. Who's seen a shot saved in this second half. Stop from going out for a corner. Well, if the scoreline stays like this, then Barcelona will be the league leaders. Real Madrid also on 15 points from the five games that they have played, but the goal difference would be what separates the two rivals. Atletico Madrid will remain in fourth place in the table, which is where they dropped following the early results 
today and uh, yesterday. It's the last game to be played over this weekend. Turn from Mateus. Stop from that pass to Bormati. Maybe chance for Cardona to race forward. Now the chase on for Navarra. The cross comes in. Collision between two opposing players. Obviously, Bron saying that she's fine, but the Atletico Madrid player may have been Santos. Looks as if she's just got a knock to her head that might require a bit of treatment. Medical staff again quickly on. Happy Leon's been all smiles in this second half after her cut to her head in the first half. The uh, maybe made contact with the elbow of Van Dongen. Now is Lucy Santos who is having her head looked at she was clutching that left cheek good news is she looks okay <laughs> no bandages needed for her so as soon as she's off the pitch, a chance to get her back on. Perhaps. <laughs> Manayo with the block. Santos wants to come back on and is allowed to do so. It did look for a moment as she was walking around the pitch as if perhaps Atletico Madrid might have to make another change, but she is allowed back on. Nice job to help defensively. Talks Ama Pariuelo, one of the players waiting to get onto this corner, drops over her and she can't keep it in play. Scored some historic goals, was part of, of course, history being made by Spanish national team at the World Cup. Goals in the quarterfinals and the semi-final. Controlled by Medina. Manages to play it through the legs of Parayuelo. In 
for Cardona. She's on a run. Decent cross from her. From a Real Madrid player. And part of this Atletico Madrid side, the number nine. Whistle that suggests that there are going to be another series of changes. And uh, Kira Walsh will not continue. Engen comes on for her. So that's one of the changes that's being made. Uh, Mariana Caldente is also being replaced. And Alexia. Comes off to uh, Oshuala. Will replace her as she is applauded off the pitch. Shakes hands with Oshuala. Pina, the other player who has come on. So confirmation of those changes. Parayuelo. Shuala waiting to her right hand side. Parayuelo goes for the shots. Gallardo could see that coming. Well, she may have had other options, but she decided to go for goal from 20 yards. shots from Barcelona leading to one goal so far for them early in this second half from Alexia Pateas. If the scoreline stays like this it will be the first time this season that Atletico Madrid have failed to score in the league. They're trying to stop Barcelona from extending their lead at the moment. Bronze finds Oshuala. Danger inside that six yard box. Make sure it goes out for a goal kick. And another change that is made sees Van Dongen replaced for the last ten minutes. Tia Moral, the player who comes on. Come on, come on. 
So a defender replaced by a young attacking player. Parihuela, the referee almost gets in the way of the run of Patry. Patry spreads it forwards. Yeah. Now Atletico Madrid on a run. instructions from their managers those changes that have been made of course will require players just to understand exactly where they're supposed to be on a pitch who they're supposed to be keeping an eye on and it's those players that they're gonna trying to get away from Oshuala, quite full to Pina. <laughs> Defending champions league winners this season, Barcelona, they're Champions League defence will get underway next month. Qualifying matches being played at the moment. helping out defensively. Varro was posing the danger there. Now with Santos. I'll come back to Santos again. This is a shot that's blocked by Paredes. Just the slim leads. Barcelona with not too long to go Pina though drop of the shoulder for her now Oshuala she also dropped her shoulder as she released that shot it wasn't on target Twenty one league goals last season for her, used to getting well into double figures. At twenty the previous season, eighteen the season before that, twenty in the 2019-20 season. A player who definitely knows where the target is. Just be that Alexia goal that separates these sides at full time. Oh, 
Paraguelo to Aitana's right hand side. Touch from Engen. Three quarters of possession. Their first real chance came in this second half through Patry. Then she provided the assist for Alexia Lucy Bronze. Also among the players who's had a shot on target, Parry Uelo has tested the keeper since coming on. Might get a chance here. Just lifts it over. She'd worked to get herself into that position, but ended up striking it high. Collision between two players, uh, Engen and Borisa. be a chance Sheila's on she's got behind the Barcelona defense oh and Cole had to make a save well perhaps she should have put a bit more strength into that shot into the 88th minute and one of the few chances Letico Madrid have had. <laughs> the number of changes that have been made in this second half. Treatment to Santos might mean we have a fair bit of added on time at the end of the 90. As it comes back to Santos, another save from the Barcelona keeper. And that one troubles her a bit more. Not long to go here at Centro Deportivo Wanda. And that close to making it 1-1. Let's look as if there is a Barcelona player, I think, waiting to come on when the opportunity arises. You see Bronze with the pull on the shirt of Navarro. But before the free kick can be taken, I think the referee's going to allow this substitution to be made. And it's Patry who will come off. And uh, Marta Torrejon. Who comes on? Another passing of the captain's armbands. Borisa with the free kick could come down, deflects away. The yellow cards. As we head into injury time, 
Find out how much added on time there will be. The announcement was made just as that uh, challenge saw Navarro go into the book. minutes of the five added minutes at least five added minutes have now elapsed and Barcelona goalkeeper might keep it for as long as she's allowed six goals for Barcelona here this evening That's how many they scored last time they're away against Atletico Madrid might not remain 1-0 to them Medina, Navarro, Marta Torrejon slides in, 33 years young, the experienced and decorated defender. encouraged by this corner Gallardo comes up can the goalkeeper do something Manayo waiting to take this corner the referee just sorting out some pushing and shoving Inside the six yard box. Corner comes in. Oh, Giardo left. Couldn't get to it. And now she's going to have to try and get back as quickly as she possibly can. Her team is still on the attack. Have to race back too quickly. Another cross, Paredes with the header. Santos gets there. Blocked out for a corner. Back up comes the Atletico Madrid captain. All of her teammates stood waiting, urging this corner to find her. Instead, I think it might have got out of uh, Mappy Leon. She wants it to be a goal kick. It will be a corner instead. What drama late on here. Another corner. And it was on a Badier who got there. Trying to play the cross back in again. Barcelona back in numbers, take it back towards the halfway line and that will do the full-time whistle goes, the first defeat of the season for Atletico Madrid, a fifth win in five games for Barcelona. Alexia Pateas with a record-breaking goal, her 182nd for Barcelona to make it Atletico Madrid nil, Barcelona one.